What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers and do I have a surprise for you guys. I'm about to do probably one of the dumbest things that I have ever done. So last episode we got the apartment built. What I wanted to do in this episode is we need to talk about power. There's a few different ways you can get power in Space Engineers. One is a reactor, which we're not going to have uranium for because there is none on the planet. And I don't really have a way of getting into space yet. Another way is wind turbines. But in order for wind turbines to work well, you need to make a lot of them. And they need to be spaced apart. They also need to be up in the air. That just look, that would look like crap. I want to try to do something that would look kind of good and kind of go with the whole complicated and unnecessary theme that I've been going through this entire series. Uh, you guys should enjoy this one because, yeah, I'm about to blow up my face, probably. Let's get this started. Real quick, before we get started, uh, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. So I took a couple of hours, maybe a little bit too long. I was going to try to get a video out today, but yeah, it's a little too late. By the time this thing gets out, it'll be like 2 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I definitely don't have time to get this out by midnight. So I guess tomorrow I'm just going to have to do two episodes. We'll see how that works out. But I have this right here. I took my base, I saved the blueprint. And I got rid of everything other than armor blocks. I did all this in creative. Now, this base right here, I'm going to update every time we do something to the base over there. I'm going to put on this one. So that way I can kind of keep an eye on things and see how things are looking. Uh, and then at some point when this thing is perfect, I'll go ahead and put it on the Steam Workshop. That one over there, I'm sure I've made mistakes. There's stuff missing. It just, it's ugly. It's not perfect. This one is going to be perfect. This is the one I'm going to put on the same workshop. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out. But yeah, I put it over here so that way it's not in the way of anything. Uh, it's not going to interfere with any of the builds. I'm not building anything over there, so that was the perfect place to do it. I just, I probably should have done it in a creative world, but eh, <laughs> might as well do it here. Of course, I could just save the blueprint and take it into a creative world if I really wanted to. But I want to be able to take a look at this base and see how it would look if I added stuff to that one. That one's kind of also for testing. But what we need to work on today is going to be up here. So wind turbines, like I said, won't look very good. Especially the amount that I have to actually build. It would just probably look like crap. And uh, reactors we won't be able to use because we don't have uranium on the planet and we have no access to space yet. So the only other option to me is solar panels. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put a picture up on the screen. This is a real world solar farm. Now I'm going to try to build the same thing only we're going to make this uh, like a hundred times more complicated than it actually needs to be. This this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be fun. I, I guarantee this is not going to be fun. But first thing I need to do... Do I have... No, I don't. I need to grab stuff real quick. I went ahead and brought the uh, king crab over here. So that way we have the resources. So what I want to do... Is I did figure out where the sun rotation is. You can see the... Is that our moon? No, that's one of the planets. I think that's a Mars-like planet. But the sun actually rotates that way. 
Uh, the sun comes up. It's actually about to come up. Uh, the sun comes up about right there. And it goes around over to there somewhere. So what I need to do is I need to try to line those. Uh, I need to get that out of the way too. I need to line those up to where the sun rotation is. It's not going to be perfect. But this is an option that you could use. Well, I wouldn't recommend using this option. This is what you could use if you're not using mods or you're not using scripts. Which I guess Xbox and PlayStation can't use. So this is another option for you. Or this just gives you an idea of some of the stuff that you could do in the game with a little creativity. I need to get all these trees out of the way. Yep, we're going to need room. Alright, so the thing is, with the solar farm, what I wanted to do is I wanted to tilt that way in the morning when the sun starts to come up. And I wanted to slowly rotate that way. Now, I could just use rotors, but nah. For the whole thing I'm going for with everything being extremely complicated, yeah, that's just not complicated enough. So we're going to go with pistons and hinges. Now this is a design I tried to do long, long time ago, but I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Now, hopefully, I can get it to work. All right, first thing we're going to need is we need hinges. We need to figure out the spacing and how to set these all up. Now, I'm not exactly sure. All right, what I need to do is I need to make a little bit of space. We need to stop right here. This is going to be our backstop, so we're not hitting the ground. So I need to go. This is where one hinge is going to go, and then a piston. Piston. And I think this hinge... Oh, no, we need two pistons. So hinge, piston, 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 hinge. All right, this one needs to go right here. Now, the only way I know of of rotating uh, the pistons to see if they're the same direction, right there, just above my... Ah, I can't get it. Right above the crosshairs, there's a rectangle with a, tri a yellow triangle in the middle. Now, the other side has it too. <laughs> Shit. All right, that might not work. But those are in the front. They're not in the back. All right, so the game crashed on me, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, so what I'm going to need, hinge, piston, 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 and then a hinge right here. What I want to do is put that little rectangle with the uh, yellow triangle. That shows you, I guess, the front or the back of the piston, whichever one. I want to point it that way. Now what I need to do is I need to make sure I have enough spacing for the next hinge. Uh, some of you might already know what I'm going for. Probably not though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's give that a shot. And then I want to make sure the rotor is pointing the other direction. Just like that. Oh, and I need an access point too. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's do this. I need control panel. <laughs> this is, you know what? No, 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 no. I need timers. We're going to need timers at some point anyways. Put you right there. Oh no, that's not gonna work. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have anything to weld that up. Hold on, control panel. Get the little one. So that way I can go ahead and rotate those uh, hinges real quick. But let's go ahead and get those welded up so I can go ahead and get them named, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, now that we got those in, what I need to do is now I need to add the pistons. Now it's going to need to be two pistons on either side because of the length of the entire thing. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this thing tilt that way and then come back, come back around that way. So I need one, <laughs> one, two, another one right here. Oh, this one's going to, uh, this is going to be a fun creation. It's going to be hilarious. All right, one, two, come on, get in there. There it is. All right, so now I need to go ahead and get those welded up. I'm gonna do this like one step at a time. I already know one thing I'm gonna have to do. Uh, these hinges right here, 
at some point I'm going to have to put their uh, limit to this direction right now that limit is set to 90 I'm probably gonna have to put it down to 89 so hinge let's give that a shot let's put that one and that one to uh shit where is it at now this one is at 90 so we need to put that down to 89 there it goes and then this one is at 90 as well so we need to put that down to 89 as well so they should only be turned at like a one degree angle kind of like that might be enough but we'll have to see so let me go ahead and get those pistons done and get them named and then we'll go to the next step all right now that i got those welded up and i got them named now we need another set of hinges so six uh, i also need to make sure that they're turned the same way as well so actually let's go ahead and put that rectangle that way and then the same way on this side because what i need to do next is i need to make sure that those hinges are actually facing upward so they both need to turn the same way so i need to get those welded up get those named oh this is fun i need to yeah i need to weld those up get those named and then i need to go ahead and turn them the correct way Okay, I think this is going to be a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I have the space just a little too much. Hold on. I forgot to... Uh, let me see if I can find those. So, solar... There we go. Uh, it should be solar... Hinge solar to left. Yeah, I forgot to set up the torque and everything. Alright, so one. Yep, there it goes. So yeah, I didn't really want it to be this big, but I guess we're going big. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, connect by blocks that hinge to that hinge. But here's the issue. I can do that with merge blocks, but if you know anything about pistons, you'll know that pistons are a little bit longer than two blocks. So if you take a look, that's the piston. That's one block. That's two blocks, and then that little tip on the head. So yeah, they're not quite exactly two blocks. So what I need to do in order to be able to connect those up, I need another piston. So what we're gonna have is I need, oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, go ahead and roll down the hill. We need to come in until we can figure out where that's going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One. I need to make sure they're not connected to the piston. They're connected to the block. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's see how far this goes out. One, two, one, two, one, one. All right. So this is the center right here. What I need is I need the piston. So we need to go back. Let's go back one on this because we also need space for the merge blocks. So one and then one, two. Then I need this piston here. Then I could go ahead and grab a merge block. That one, <laughs> it's gonna be stupid. This is so stupid. All right, right, where is, there it is. Tip right there, then turn this one around like that. Now I need to get those welded. Uh, but this piston right here, I'm not even gonna do anything with. It's just gonna extend so we can connect those and then I'm gonna shut it down. So that way it cannot move at all. I need to make sure that one does not move. But yeah, let me go ahead and get all that welded up real quick. All right, so yeah, as you can see, because of the pistons, there's just a little bit of gap. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead. Oh, here's where everything is going to blow up. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is going to blow up. I know it's going to. So let's go ahead and reverse. 
nothing blew up okay so if we look over here we can see that it's uh the maximum extent is going to be 0 0.06 meters and the min minimum i'm going to do the same thing i want this thing i want to do everything i can to make sure that this thing stays locked I could also go ahead and shut it off, but for right now, I'll go ahead and leave it since we do have... Let's turn these up. Well, no, we should be fine. As long as I don't hit anything, it should be fine. All right, now that we have that, the only thing I should have to do, if this works, is extend those pistons. But first, I need to go ahead and set the hinges so that they have no resistance. So no torque, nothing. So, no, those are the wrong ones. I need the solar. There we go. So, I'm going to set the torque all the way down. There's a little bit of bouncing, but we're okay. And then the velocity, I'm going to set to zero. Don't know if I need to do it, but we'll do it anyways. Then we'll go ahead and do... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. All right. One thing I do need to do that I almost forgot... This one right here, and this one right here, I need to set their... What are they at right now? They're at 90. I forgot about that. Alright, I need to set this to 89. Ooh, a little bit of bounce. No more bounce, please. Alright, let's check this piston. Is it still 0 0.06? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, this is going to be fun. All right, now the reason I did that was because I need to make sure that it's not locking in place. You've done this with your elbow before when you kind of lock it into place so you can't bend it back. That's what I'm trying not to do with the uh, with the hinges. So if this works, yep, I'm gonna double check, make sure. If this works, if I extend that piston, then this whole thing should go up that way. Oh, and the sun's coming up. Perfect timing. But it's going to blow up. <laughs> I already see it coming. So, reverse. Uh, no. Huh. Looks like it is locked. Hold on. Let's... I need... It might be the weight. Go ahead. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, you can, you can stay right... Oh, the other side's coming up. Well, I can already see what I need to do there. Hold on. What I need to do, since we're trying to make... Let's reverse it. Uh, what I need to do is I need to make sure that that hinge right there does not turn. When this goes up, the only hinge that we need to move is that one. That one, I could go ahead and lock. So let's go... Let's try that real quick. So that one should be hinge solar. Hinge solar. That should be the first one. And it's the right side from where I'm facing right now. So what I need to do. See if this works. Lock that hinge. Oh, this is stupid. All right. Now we can go ahead. And try this again. All right. A little bit of clang. No clinging, please. But there it goes. So this is why I need two pistons. Because when this one fully extends, it's not going to be quite high enough. Maybe even two pistons won't be high enough. Yeah, I don't even think two pistons will be high enough. Well, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I needed three pistons. Uh, but right there? Yep, that seems about the angle that I'm going to get. Which is okay because... Yeah, we're not going to have direct sunlight, but we are going to have some sunlight. <laughs> well, it sort of works. Let's go ahead and bring it down and then we'll try the other side. So we need to go ahead and reverse this one. 
and then we'll reverse this one as well. So what I need to do is I need to set these pistons to only move at the speed that the sun rotates around the planet. Now, right now I have its daytime set to, or the rotation set to six hours. So I think if I do like 0 0.01, which I think is the lowest these can go, I think that might be enough. All right, now what I need to do, I need to get this all set up on timers as well. All right, so, oops, nope, that's not what I meant to do. We need the hinge. So hinge, solar left, I need to go ahead and lock. And the one on the right, I need to unlock. Then we can take this, uh, this piston right here, reverse. And of course we need to go ahead and up it just a little bit, just enough. There it goes. And then this piston as well. So yeah, it goes a little way too fast. But yeah, if you want to set up a <laughs> kind of a solar rotation without using scripts or without using mods, that's one way of going about it. Now, of course, you could just use rotors. <laughs> It'd probably be easier, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fun enough. It's not complicated enough. It's just it's boring. It's no fun. All right, what I need to do now is I need to get the timers set up because what I need this to do is I need a timer to lock those hinges and those hinges at the right time. I also need to set them up so that the pistons uh, will extend at the right time. The problem is I have to figure out the timing. How fast do I need those pistons to move? Now, uh, the slowest you can go with one piston is if we go ahead and go velocity negative 0 0.01 I think is the lowest it can go now it is moving I think is it you I think it's you yeah it's it's barely barely moving it might be too slow actually but then we can go to the other piston and do the same thing. So velocity... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. One up here. So velocity... Negative 0 0.01. All right, so now it's actually moving because there's two pistons moving. It's actually moving at 0 0.02. So let's see. Yep, you can barely, barely tell that it is moving. But actually, that might be too fast. Yeah, the sun doesn't rotate that quickly. Well, maybe it does. Yeah, maybe it does. Not sure. But yeah, maybe a little too fast. But yeah, that's something I'll have to test out. I need to set up the timers. So that they will tell those pistons to extend when these are retracted. Which, I have to time that to figure out just how long it actually takes. Now, timers have a max time of one hour. So if it takes longer than an hour, I have to add another uh, timer to it. So all the timers have to do is when it starts during the early morning, it needs to... No, this one. It needs to lock that hinge so these pistons don't rotate this way. And then at the same time, it needs to extend these pistons. So that way it will point towards the sun. And then once it gets to that point, another timer will uh, reverse it the other way. Yeah, so the pistons will come down until they're about like that. Making the whole solar panels go straight this way. Hopefully, at the same time that the sun, well, at the same time it's midday, and the sun is directly above it. Then another timer will lock that hinge, unlock this one, and then extend these pistons. So it's a lot of work, 
But I, th I think it will work. I think. But what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and get all those solar panels in. Let's see how many solar panels that, that's going to be. So solar panels are two blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Whoops. I'm one block short. Or one block long, whichever way you want to look at it. So what I'm gonna do, this should have enough power. If I turn things up a little bit, I'm gonna go four solar panels wide. Yeah. I'm going to go four solar panels wide and then we'll see how it works out. I need to go ahead and move that. I'll do that on my own because I do need to craft up a bunch of solar uh, solar cells. But yeah, I also need to go ahead and lower those up so I can get that pointed at the sun. Alright, it was actually perfect damn timing for the sun to come up. Because now we can actually test this thing out. Uh, so guess how many, uh, solar panels that is. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I tried to fit a tenth, but yeah, because of that piston, I wasn't able to fit it. That's okay. No big deal. We got a little bit of a gap. Uh, so that's nine times three is 27. Yeah, 27 on this side, 27 on that side, that is 54. 54 solar panels. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so what I need to do now is we need to go ahead and test this out. We need to make sure that that weight is not going to be too much. So, oh man. Uh, I'm also, you know what? Mm -mm. No, no. We're going to save. Alright, uh, so we need the piston for... Uh, let's do solar. No, we need left. The left pistons, these two right here. Alright, now we can go ahead and reverse those. Oh yeah, the weight is trying to move that hinge. But it's not quite making it. Yeah, I just need to double check, make sure this is not too much weight. Uh, luckily, I actually did have enough uh, solar cells. Oh shit, I took out a tree. And it does bounce around a little bit. I need... I need to be cautious of that. Alright, now what I need to do is I need to go for the hinges. Which should be... These ones. Solar hinge left and right, just number ones. And I need to go ahead and unlock one and lock the other. Oh, yeah, we could also turn on share inertia tensor. I don't know if I want to do that shit, though. Alright, now the right side. Uh, those, uh, those pistons. But, first, hold on. Hmm. Let's go solar. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, we have all the hinges, all the pistons. Is that it? I think that's it. Are you ready? Here it goes, it's gonna blow up, I know it is. Why is it lifting? Hold on, right? Shouldn't it be lifting? It's lifting, why is it lifting? All right, let's reverse. Oh, it was, I think it was trying to pull away. Now it doesn't want to lift at all. Alright. Uh, right. Pistons. These two. Um. Alright, are you going forward or backwards? You. Are negative. You. Are negative. You guys need to be going the other way. First. Alright, looks like I need to turn off your inertia tensor. Alright, so solar. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off. Go. Oh, there it goes. 
But yeah, apparently I need to turn off or leave off Sharon Inertia Tensor. But it works. It, it actually works, man. What the hell? All right, we need to go ahead and bring this down. Actually, I think we should be getting solar panel now or solar power now. Well, not a whole lot. Only one pig, but yeah, a little bit. All right, let's go ahead. I'm I'm gonna keep doing this until I blow the whole thing up. So piston, piston, reverse. You know what? Let's try. Maybe if I share inertia tensor on those, maybe it might make it a little bit more stable that way. Oh, it's coming down way too fast because of the weight. <laughs> yeah, that was because of the weight. I need to turn up the strength on those pistons. All right. All right. Uh, so solar, we need to switch over the hinges. So this one. So hinge lock. This one hinge lock. There we go. Then I need the left. What? Oh, let's do this. Uh, share inertia tensor. Then what we need to do, we're going to turn everything. No, nope, not minimum distance. This guy. We're going to turn both up pretty damn high. All right. Now we need a uh, solar piston. Nope, the left. Yeah, both left. There we go. Reverse. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe too strong. Yeah, it looks like share inertia tensor is not a good idea with this design. Probably also should change that hinge. Did not be at 80, 80 degrees, maybe 85. But yeah, it sort of kind of kind of works. But yeah, we are getting solar panels. So uh, solar power. So what I could do now, now that we got the design figured out, I just need to tweak it a little bit. So it's not so bump, uh, bumpy, jumpy, whatever you want to call it. But what I can do since now we know how to build it, I could build more either this way. I could build more that way. Or I could build more that way. Now, as we said, that's uh, 50, 54, 54 solar panels. So I could get hundreds of solar panels in no time. Yeah, I kind of like it. But yeah, then I have to set that all up on timers. I don't really need to set them up on timers. What I could do is just do it by hand if I really wanted to. Just have a button. Just have buttons set up that reverse it. But of course, to make it even more complicated the way I love it, I'm going to go ahead and add timers so that way, yeah, I feel satisfied about how dumb it is. But yeah, so we kind of have power figured out. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does work. As sometimes I need to, at some point, I need to figure out how to get that connected to the base a little bit better than this. I'll get it figured out at some point. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but I'll get that all figured out. But I'll get that all figured out at some point. Had a little bit of lag there. I think that thing is causing some lag. All right, so next episode, this episode is going to be pretty long. I was going to try to get it out today before midnight. But it looks like it's already 1 o'clock in the morning. It took me a lot longer to build that thing than I thought. Because I was I was trying for the longest time to figure out how I was going to do it. So yeah. We got that done. I think next episode what we need to do is we need to start on fabrication. So right now all we have is a system with one assembler, one refinery. And that's just not going to cut it for the stuff we have in the future. So what I need to do is I need to do a processing plant. 10 refineries, 25 assemblers, and I'm going to build it back here. I'm going to go ahead and take out this wall and I'm going to have to dig some more. So that way we can put it back there. But yeah, we'll check that out in the next episode. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. 
I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.